My name is William. This is my Gagliardi Vex. It's over 80 inches wide, and you're watching Answer. All right, guys, so we are now in the car with Will. We're going to ask your questions that we got from Facebook and Reddit. So what is the reason that this was built off a Boxster and not, you know, like a Fiero or an MR2 or something that's, uh, I guess, more popular when, when people build their own concept or kit cars? It was built because you still need that speed, the luxury. What better thing with a mid-engine vehicle than a Porsche? Yeah. You know, not only that, a Porsche holds its value. You still have everything that comes with a Porsche. The maintenance is not that expensive and you're still able to drive it anywhere and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. Speaking of maintenance, like doing an oil change, is it much harder because of the kit or is it? No, it's, it's actually the same. Nothing's changed when it comes to like the mechanical things. Everything is still the original off of a Porsche. Right. So it's right behind us. You need to do an oil change. Everything is still in the same location. The filler, everything is still the same. You can pretty much take it anywhere to do an oil change. You don't have to go anywhere specific, oh, pay right. lots of money to do it. Yeah. The only thing that's been upgraded is the exhaust and the suspension to give it a lower look. Besides that, the whole idea of the vehicle is not really for speed, it's for looks. Are those silica headlights? Yes, they are silica headlights. It has an area for the top, right? Yes. And then you still have just a front trunk or you have a rear trunk as well? The vehicle has a trunk in the front and also in the back behind where the cover is behind us, you could see it, it's a target top. So once I remove it, I could just sit it behind us. Uh -huh. And I also have a space behind that also for the trunk. Yeah. So, so I, I could go, that. I could go grocery shopping with this, no problem. So the entertainment system from what I'm seeing is not from uh, the 2006 system. Is this an Android based uh, GPS? Yes, it is. Bluetooth, everything. I could connect it to my phone's Wi Fi. Uh -huh. I could go on YouTube, do everything that I want off of uh, the system that the vehicle has. We have like a 987 Boxster. How much more do you have to pay to get it to look like this? Uh, starting about 48000 It takes about three months to build. Like you said, you just got to donate your own Porsche. Yeah, and who makes this kit? A guy named Franco Gagliardi. Uh -huh. He has his own company, it's called Gagliardi Design. Uh, he's based off of uh, in Riverside. Oh, okay. So, so he's, he's local. So speaking of that, how many Gagliardi Vexes are out? Right now, this is the only one. Got it. This one is made out of sheet metal, right? Yes. The body. And do you know how much weight that adds or moves from the original car? Right now, this car is definitely not for speed. We're talking about this thing is all metal. The other ones are gonna be way lighter than even a stock Porsche. Not only that, he can also change out the engine. You could put uh -huh. an LS, you could put a V12, you could put anything you want uh -huh. in this. So what is your favorite thing about this car? The looks that people give, the interest, doesn't matter how young, how old, I've gone, everybody always asking what it is and how beautiful it is. So we filmed the B-roll out of Cars and Coffee with a bunch of Broncos and everyone that parked near it had to come by and check everybody. it out. And that's how it is. If I go to the gas station, most people just are in and out. I'm there probably like 15, 20 minutes because yeah. people are just coming up wondering what this is. Yeah, you got to answer all these questions. So your favorite part is definitely the attention, the looks of the car. If you could have it redone, like sent back for a version 2.0, what would you change about it? Air ride, just to be able to help out when going up curves, going up speed bumps, anything like that. Because of how long the car is, it's very difficult, even when you take it at an angle, to not bottom out in the middle. Yeah. So I would, adding an air ride or something like that to help like out with that, lift. something like that, yeah. would definitely make a huge difference. What about the interior? I mean, so the car's white on the outside, it looks awesome, then it's got this black and red kind of look going on. These seats are almost, they're like diamond stitch, quilted yeah. almost, uh, very Bentley looking. So that is not the stock boxer seat, right? No, I was deciding on color and everything. You know, I Googled it and it just seemed like a lot of exotic cars with white is red interior. Yeah. So that just helped me out in deciding to go red. And then, you know, diamond stitching just gives it a nice luxurious look. 
because that's the whole idea of this car is the luxury it's not really built for speed it's about you know driving something exotic every day and then having a comfort inside you know the red stands out the diamond stitching looks nice right. so that was the whole idea about doing the interior i still kept the whole porsche look of it right which transmission is this porsche so is it uh it's a five speed or six -speed? it's a five it, it's a five speed um i got pedal shifters okay so um it is automatic but with just a switch i go from automatic to shifting it on my own got it very cool yeah so this is all this is all standard porch right and then this top area yes is that all that's been enhanced is just this and then adding these like pillars uh -huh to give it just that kind of exotic look that you see yeah, in most really Lamborghinis really cool. and Ferraris, just all this is just going together. Yeah. So it's crazy just one simple, you know, adding these little pillars does to give it just a different kind of look. Yeah. And is the top piece, is this uh, one big piece or is this two kind of T-top pieces? It's one big uh, piece target top that right. comes off and just literally sits right behind us. Oh yeah, so that's the, the top piece right there. And uh, is that what is that made out of? Uh, it's, that is made out of fiberglass. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's a much lighter piece. Very cool. And then we have these custom windows right here. So same window switches. Yeah, 